Hey, good morning and welcome back to Dakota News. Now we are having another edition of Owning Your Outdoors and joining us as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And Doug, last week, in case people didn't see it, we talked about thrillers, fillers, and spillers. So you kind of want to give a little bit of a brief recap before we talk about a twist on it, right? Yes, uh, for a successful planner, there's always uh, three elements that you want to use. Thrillers, fillers, and spillers. The thriller is the star of the planner. It's the item that really stands out and, uh, and makes the whole planner. Your fillers, are the supporting cast. They fill in around the thriller and uh, makes the, the thriller just stand out in the whole pot. And then, of course, you need a spiller. A spiller is a viney type plant that will soften the edge of the planter. So uh, that's the three elements that I always use when putting a planter together to make it just perfect. And you said last week that normally people go for more of like the grasses and the purple grasses, but that's not their only option. No, today we wanted to talk about some items that people just don't think about using thrillers as thrillers. Uh, one thing I like to do, and I do quite often in my planters, is using shrubs. Uh, I have a fine line buckthorn here. If you want some color, you can use that, like a nine bark. And then uh, brand new this year, we have a willow. It's um, iceberg um, alley willow. And uh, it's got a great blue t uh, tone to it and a uh, great texture to be the thriller in your planter. Just something to kind of change it up and give right. it something rather than the usual grasses. Right. And using a shrub down below here, I put a container together with a fine line buckthorn just to give you an idea of what can be done uh, for a planter. Uh, the buckthorn adds some height, it adds the texture, and it really makes the planter stand out. What about this one that you have uh, right here next to it? Clematis. Clematis is another little trick I use. Uh, you can use any kind of vine. I have a clematis here, a mandevilla, as a thriller. Uh, if you do do this, I recommend putting some additional stakes in it so they can continue to vine up and grow. But it does make a standout uh, uh, planter. And then uh, from there, items that people don't think about are like calla lilies. They don't often come in, but when you do see them, it's, it makes for a great planter. Uh, Aaron, we have it right over there. Yes, right in front. What, and, about, um, what about this one right here? This one looks really, really nice. That's a tropical, and we're going to maybe talk about tropicals next week. It's a whole uh, variety of plants that love the heat, and I know you're going to be bringing heat our way, Aaron. I Eventually. <laughs> so it's a good thing to talk about. Um, as we get into the summer, the tropicals take off, and uh, we'll talk about everything you can do with tropicals next week. And so uh, if you use one of these for your thriller, the same, the same uh, kind of concepts apply with fillers and spillers as well? Yes, yes. You, uh, can, when you pick up fillers, it should be something that complements, supports your thriller. And the spillers also, uh, it should just tell a story. Um, texture, color are the two variables that really need to be taken into consideration. Um, at the end there, Aaron, um, we have one, you know, people ask me, well, what about shade? What can I do with yeah. shade? And i um, been having requests for a long time for Kimberly fern, and that's what I use in that planter there. It's a oh, great yeah. fern to use as a thriller in a planter. And uh, add a few other ferns, like uh, the ribbon fern and Rieger begonia, uh, and you have a great planter, all set, ready to go. And like we said last week too, you don't want to cheap out on the dirt. You want to get some nice, no, good quality dirt. No, that's the foundation of every successful planter is the soil. So always make sure you're buying a good quality soil to begin with. And uh, it'll make your plants look 100 times better. All right, Doug, thank you so much. And you said we we're going to tro talk tropicals next week. Tropicals and uh, some things we can do with tropicals to make your patio fantastic. All right, sounds great. Doug, thank you again for uh, helping us out this morning. 